The one-man competition came about actually as a consequence of, uh, again, I was a freshman. We were having a meeting. It was the Afro-American Student Association, and we were sitting around uh, talking about the Miss America contest. If you realize, you know, back then, it was always around Labor Day, so very, very, very early in, in the year. So, a, you know, a few weeks after that, we were having this conversation about, you know, how women are presented and, and the sort of negative, you know, presentations, all of these things. And I remember someone said, well, you know, men never have to do those sorts of things. It's like, you know what, that would be really funny to see what would happen if that occurred, if men had to do this. And that's where Woman was born. It was born in the context of making men go through what the women had to go through. And it became a smash. It became a huge tradition. We packed Dodd Auditorium from the very first woman competition. These men had to do evening gown, they had to do swimsuit, they had to do talent. And it was really funny in that they were sponsored by halls. It's like Virginia Hall, Ball Hall. So they this is these you know, they were representing and the women of those halls taught them their talent got them their gowns and all of these things. So it became this huge community event. And Woman was so successful that it allowed the Afro-American Student Association to do a lot of different programming because we raised so much money um, from that event that you know we were one of the most recognized organizations on campus uh, because of, again, the success of that and other types of programming. But Woman became a campus a big campus tradition. Uh, it, it was a lot of fun uh, to pull off.